All right, welcome back, everyone. For our second game of the night, we're going to be playing Wildermyth. And uh, as I was just about to say, but I forgot to hit record earlier, now I actually hit record and we're going to be talking about it. I I fell in love with this game a bit. I don't really... I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm good at it. I'm not going to say I'm good at it. It's just... It's just here right now. <laughs> And I don't know how to feel about it. I've had some weird times. So, yeah, we're just going to go for standard difficulty. Uh, you guys can see the map seat. I didn't alter it at all. Just what we're going with. Currently not responding, which is always a fantastic sign whenever, whenever you play games. It's music is still playing. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. So first, first thing we got to do is name our characters. So first character I shall name after myself. It'll be male. Can we masculine? Can be. Not often, though. And I'm not going to really adjust the uh, face and all that too much. We'll adjust my color, though. Like my purple. Um, as for the second character, do we have a name for some of these people? They so can be female, hairstyle. Yeah, I'm not going to spend forever in this. Uh, why not? Oh, wait. Chat saying Dahlia. Dahlia? Okay. Let's keep the names uh, short. That way I can remember them. Then again, I can just use... Uh, I random. Okay, so I love how all three of my characters randomly rolled to be greedy. So we got greedy leader, greedy. Hot-headed greed wagon, cowardly greed wagon. Nice. Uh, let, let's change some of that. Otherwise, they're going to keep <laughs> trying to get money out of each other. <laughs> um, so, personality here. Uh, their top three personalities will determine a lot of what they say uh, in the battles. So, why don't we have... Well, I want myself to at least be a goofball. So I am the decisive goofball. Uh, one of them could be the hot-headed greed wagon, but you can be... Now, why don't we make you snarky? And how about poetic as the poetical snark, the hot headed greed wagon, and the decisive goofball? 
I think that works. And let's start. This tent, like it says, it takes a little bit of time. This book. There's room in it for another story. It's cold. I'm stuck here. At least my decaying body will look intelligent. Little book and pencil propped up on her lap. All right, then. So this is how I'll start it. Here in our yandering country. Something in the woods is very strange. Bothered only by aching legs, a young man named Kaza takes the seasonal road to the town of Pathcrow. How long would they believe me if I pretended I lost my voice? I bet I could get her going. Maybe not Christy. Breezes light that day. Birds are timid. In fact, the whole world is a taking a breath, ready to leap in the sea. I'm there already, huh? Here's the hard part. Getting Dolly out of the house. Wonder if her bread-baking idea ever worked out. Or her dice game. Or if she bought that press. Or that smoke. Fluttering flames roost among the far-off far rooftops. Kaza hurries towards town, thinking of Dahlia, a young woman whom he's known since boyhood. So I could either become her rival, uh, I could I could be her friend, or I could be her romantic option and just go like, oh no, is something happening to her? So what do you what do you think, Chad? Should I be her rival, her friend, or her romance? I'm letting, I'm letting chat decide a lot of this because I've already beaten the first campaign. I've already beaten this campaign. I, ju I just want to see what the chat wants. <laughs> first choice was rivals. <laughs> Watch me worry, and she's fine. Or maybe not. Ugh. Hey, Dahlia, you there? Okay, so... A lot of this... A lot of these tutorials are very weird, and it took me a while to get used to any of them. So I'm going to activate Extinguish. It's got this cute art style, like the paper craft art style I've always been a fan of. I can move over here. Now it's my turn again. Open the door. Huh. The fire didn't re reach your house? Figures. Dahlia, you're not all burnt up, are you? That idiot. Why is no one... The door unlocks. Yeah, you, what's... Spare my door, you beast. Get inside, then. Your bow. Yeah, there's things in the streets. You didn't see any? Like, monsters. I don't know. I've got one trapped behind... <laughs> behind the house. Well, staying put's not a plan, sorry to say. Right, so here, I've got some tools around. Look, I know we're not best friends, but we still find a reason to see each other. Can you help me fight it off? Okay, pitchfork. Well, I'd like to keep that creature at arm's length. Pickaxe. If it breaks stones, it breaks bones. Or frying pan. This is for cooking. Why'd I grab this? When I when I originally played the game, I liked the saying, uh, if it breaks bones, 
if it breaks stones, it breaks bones. <laughs> um, but really, this is for a, a spear user. This is for an axe user. And this is for, like, I think a sword. It doesn't really feel... Like, none of these are really two-handed weapons except for the pitchfork. Frying pan. Okay. Just watch my back, yeah? I'll do what I can. Don't run. And foe cards. This is going to tell us what we're going to be fighting at the moment. So don't worry too much. All you gotta know is things are gonna happen. Okay, nothing so... Oh, there. If we stay close to each other, we won't take damage. So like this, if you see that blue shield, we take less damage if we wait together. Okay, I'm going to wait a little bit longer. Dang it. I didn't realize its distance was that much. Three damage. And oh, it it's a it's a hammer, so it knocks back. Neat. Good for smacking enemies where you want them to be. Now I get, uh, let's see, re replaces Guardian. The warrior leaps up two tiles in order to intercept a foe, performing a reaction strike. Ooh, that's neat. I've not had that before. Ooh, let's see. Dahlia, f once per turn, Dahlia's refunded an action point after a melee kill. I like archers more. Through shot, Dahlia fires a cleverly placed arrow that will pass through the first target and hit the next target in a line, dealing minus one damage to the second, but it can hit multiple enemies. Once per combat, Dahlia... Once per combat! Ugh. Uh, I don't know about... I don't like any of these. I'll go with through shot, though. Bonus damage. Um, I mean, I, I guess. I just shot a monster. I hit it, didn't I? Did I hit it? Lie to me if you have to. The creature's death is quiet. It seems to slip from life in a few stunned, hazy blinks. They'll spend a piece of the day getting the flames under control. The damage isn't as bad as it could have been. Townsfolk emerge from the hiding fight uh, from hiding to fight fires and clear debris. Some full of curiosity, others visibly haunted by what they've seen. Christy, we must be ready for us. I'd go alone, but we should both go. Christy? She's at that ruined tower by now. Anyway, what about my house? No one's going to steal your stuff. Christy will be waiting for us. What happened today could be happening everywhere, couldn't it? Something about that tower is just stuck in my mind. It's like when you get apple skin in your teeth. Is it really? Huh? Y yeah. Anyway, I think... I just think we should meet her. We should... Uh, wait... We said we'd meet her. We should. In the tower in the hills. You've been there? Yeah, once actually. Looking at the tracks. They come and they go that direction. Kaza and Dahlia follow the pounded path of the monstrous feet, hoping, hoping for the best and dreading every possibility. Let's see. We can either have uh, her be friends with Christy or... We can romance. We could have. We could have a romance like that. Yeah. Oh, what, what do you think, chat? Friendship between the girls or romance?
That one's romance. A wordless while passes between them, but the quiet only heightens their worry. You've always been a little fond of her, I thought. Of Christy? You mean I have? Oh. Is that true? It's pretty impossible not to fall in love with her in some way. That sour look, that sleepy way she smiles when you catch her with her guard down. She's just, and she's just happy. Yeah, I'm um, sorry. And plus, it seems like no matter where she goes, we tend to have adventures. Oh no, more beasties at the tower. So now we get to uh, talk about scouting and all that shenanigans. We need to prepare defense. Let's see. I am cheating right now. And if everyone knows that I'm cheating, it's fantastic. Because I'm preparing defenses with literally no consequence. Because time is paused right now, and normally it takes a very, very long time to build up level three defenses, but because the game is just like, you're on a tutorial, you wouldn't know to build level three defenses. <laughs> no, now, now I did that, and <laughs> now I have a really, really upgraded uh, village. Yeah, mechanics abuse. The previous night, the tower where Christy had arranged to meet Kazandali is a place she often used to escape to see to as a she used to escape to as a girl. She knows its rooms and floors so well. She could survive being chased through them. And now I wait, I suppose. Dusk gets deep as rain puddles as rain puddles in here. Alive is alive until that beast breaks through, though. Well, beast? Oh, well, beast. <laughs> How are your plans coming along? Oh, she is snarky. The tower is an heirloom of an earlier people. The locals have lost the legend of it. The emptiness is deep and fragrant. The odor of 10,000 rains that have soaked into stone. But as the old will tell you, precious things go overlooked in a ruin. What lodges am amid the bones of a, f a failure is often the dream that drove it. That book. Why have I never... Easy there. I guess you're wondering why I'm talking to myself, huh, Beast? I'm also wondering. Christy bends to pull, pull it loose. The book's heavier than its slender spine suggests. Look at all this. It's full of strange stories. The folklore of folk long forgotten. The chained girl? Gives no in gives no great insight. It's uncomfortable. The story of a girl shackled to a rock by her parents, who sent her spirit free, moving through the links of the chain that binds her. The coin claw bear and the bench from Fox is mostly a conversation between a miserly bear and a traveling fox. In the final sentence, the fox stamps the bear's soul into a coin and sends her around the world on the current of exchange the path crow the path crow quilters tells of an assembly of very old people who who instead of dying take up quilting they live together speaking rarely making magnificent quilts 
Christy reaches for the last word of the final tall tale. A few blank pages are left. This book. Something in, in her feels like it's coming loose, but she can't tell exactly what. There's room in it for another story. It's cold. I'm stuck here. All right, then. So this is how I'll start it. Here in our yondering country, Christy writes words are ready. Omens have fo have formed in the fabric of everything, and she's the beginning. And she's beginning to recognize them now. Some are just misgivings. They've crept through her body like the sourceless aches one wakes with. Others are more substantial. Now they seem lightning plain, a promise of thunder. For in the wild black woods where birds once belled, a hateful silence churns. Pain lights Christie's head. Subsides. They made it to morning? She lowers her bleary eyes. Her story lies before her in luminous script. Empty pages have sprouted behind it. Why do I feel powerful? I can either pull out a spoon or a staff. She pulls the spoon from her pocket. She slides a branch from the rubble. It's sturdy. It has a palm-loving twist. Let's see. It's basically choosing between a wand and, well, yeah, a staff. Let there be spoon. Open wide, beast. I'm getting out of here. Alright, now there's a rager. Okay, so magic in this game is weird. It's very, very weird. And I wish the game, like, I know it, it, it tries to explain things, but until you actually use it, it's, it doesn't feel right. So, let's see, what, what's around the room? There's knives, there's a cabinet, bookshelf. Now let, let's uh let's combine ourselves with the knives so interfuse. We are now we are now bonded with the knives. And I can use the knives to use the attack barrage. Oh no. Oh wait, there it is. I can shoot knives at it. Oh, dang, it's mad. Um, I can interfuse with this bookshelf. And Splinter Blast. And then I can fuse with this cabinet. And Splinter Blast. There's no real way to, like, lose that fight. Ooh, these are fun ones. Oh, I can learn advanced interfusion. With, like this, where fire does not burn out while interfused. Or wood, or I could get like wood explosions. I could fuse with liquid. That's amazing. Um, or... I can ignite the ground. That's a fun one, to be perfectly honest. I kind of want ignite. But, yeah, let's burn things. <laughs> Alright, more, mo more monsters roam the ruined halls and rattle the rotting furniture. 
but Christy moves quietly, sensing her way in the dark. Daylight lands on her wrist. Cool wind soothes her tired eyes. All I had to do was the impossible. Not too bad. She closes the tower door, gentle to make no noise. That was the mystic's art that I did, right, tower? Where'd I get it from? Could have just happened? Is it just one of those things? Things a woman's born with that might blossom in her life when she needs them? I'm not going to have, have to start believing in that stuff, am I? Christy? Maybe in Starlight I'll understand. Christy, you're okay? You're okay, you look it. Hey Christy, something happened? Hmm? Dahlia, you're here. You're safe. Oh, good. Oh, sorry. And you too, Kaza. Me and this boulder I'm next to only barely survive. Thanks, Christy. Oh, no. I'm Thanks, Dahlia. I'm getting used to it. Yeah, see that smoke on the horizon? That's from the town. Yeah, that's Path Crow. It burned? <sighs> Things are different than they were. Hmm. Yeah, well, I don't know if I've ever seen something quite like this. Monster? Sure, we have. We slay monsters. Okay, well, I do magic. Alright, so now we have to complete this area. There's an assault here. Let's go. Will you guys get mad if I knock? I'm very polite. That's me being a goofball. A perfect understanding isn't likely to emerge. What these beasts are, where they came from, what drove them to attack the town of Pathcrow? Well, letting them nest here feels like the wrong idea. Wait, were we supposed to be thinking of a plan? That's embarrassing. Sure, well... Okay, we can either uh, crash in there and kill them, or we can... To be fair, th these options don't change anything. But if you do courageous things, you get more attack power, and if you use stoicism, you get defense. So why don't we... You know, we'll just charge in there. Yeah, we get plus two damage and potency for three turns. There's raccoons here. I hate the raccoon. Now open the door. So far, so good. Okay, that's bad. Uh, what can I interfuse with? Can I, can I, uh, I can interfuse with this rock. I like interfusing with rocks. I can use the discus power. No one of them. Of course it dodged. Why wouldn't it dodge? And let's see if I can slam it. Yeah! Yeah, okay, that was not a 100% chance. I was worried about that. The raccoons can shoot you with range. Ooh! I get armor. I'm the only one who can wear it. I'll definitely take it over nothing. 
and it increases my stun chance. Stunt is crit, okay? The last misshapen creature folds its bones and dies. Blue fluids dock in the dust. So calm, accepting death. Not natural at all. Natural if you're suffering. Hey, look at us. Look at what we did. Yeah. Day drops. Day rises. Dusk is sweet. The sunrise sweeter. It's not long before they've cleaned the old tower up a bit. Would have thought there'd be more shiny things around. A tower? Guess it's old. Someone's got to keep fighting. On the roads, our hills, and our wild places. The threat will only grow. We all feel that. Let's not wait to be overrun. Company of heroes now. We'll walk the land. We'll fight. People need us. We'll give ourselves a name. And make sure it's one they'll sing. Sounds like you've thought about this. Name the company! Oh no. Let's see, we can call ourselves the Troop of the Witch. The Calling Crow. The Chosen of the Famous South. Or we can... Cat. I need a name for, for, for our team that will go down in the history of all time. Uh, I d like, what will they sing? Team Smashy. I mean... <laughs> okay. Team Smashy Hunt. Perfect. After that, the three of them are inseparable. Rumors are rampant. Heroes are needed. This world will be flooded in sorrows. But its defenders are joined by a fire that night. Here follows the tale of Team Smashy Hunt. Be remembered. Ah. Of course you get... More armor raccoons. Why wouldn't you get more armor raccoons? Screw you, raccoons. Okay. So. You can spend legacy points to do the following things. Recruit heroes. Build new stations. Cancel calamities. Another thing you can do with them is to craft gear. But that, that will be a point for later. So. Do you guys see at in the uh, top of the screen, right next to uh, year one, summer, day 34, pause. To the right of that, there's a monster symbol with a plus on it. Every single time that counts down to zero, it means that... Uh, every monster in the game has a potential of getting more powerful. So, right now, we're going to have all the characters secure this place. Securing this place will allow us to get more resources. If we choose to take our sweet time, we can get a random accessory for, for someone. And there's not even a guarantee that it that accessory is good. Or we could choose to just speed things up. So there's a lot of like thought that has to go into this. Let's start with uh just making things go faster.
Mole's rest has been cleaned up and put in good order, with time left for a few days of comfort. Mole's rest will return to the hands of the common folk. While they tend it, the site will provide resources at the end of each chapter. So yeah, it will give us that if we complete the chapter with this area still in our control. And that's important to talk about. So, why don't, uh, why don't we start by recruiting someone? Let's send one person back to recruit. Um, Dolly is the fastest, so she can go on her own. And then we'll explore this area with our two characters left. All right, new recruit, Sarla. We can also, I think we might be able to change what she's like. Yeah, we could change anything uh, about her that we want. But that that's fine. We'll, we'll, she's a goofish romantic. Okay, sure. We need more party members right now, so I'm not too picky. You're back. I saw you leave a while ago. I did. And it's going well. The monster slaying. There's so much monster slaying going on. Just victory after victory, you know? But uh, bottom line is, we could do with another pair of hands. Are you interested? I have to confess. I was crestfallen when you all marched off. The start of a once-in-a-lifetime tale had dropped itself in front of me and then slipped away just as quickly. Oh, um, I didn't realize. You could have said something. But now the opportunity returns. A call to answer. So you're in? Wholeheartedly. What sort of skills do you need the most? I'm gonna be honest. We probably could use another warrior. Warriors help build defenses faster. So, but then again, hunters are really good at... Uh, that's, that's always the problem. I, mm, they're, they're all good. That That's really the problem. I'm going to go with a, a warrior just because it will help build defenses faster and we need that in the early game. Alright, we're going to prepare... She's going to prepare the recruit. Ooh, there's a battle here. That's going to be rough. How about... Uh, I could probably handle this with two people, though. Then again, it would... Yeah. No, no, we, we should. We should try it. The mage and the warrior. Go! In the deep caverns beneath the font of spear. Resty, keep up. You don't like the way I rear rear guard? Feel free to do it yourself. Besides, the torches are all all up in the front. It's hard to see where I Whoa! Whoosh. Ow. What where? Wow. What is that? How long has this been down here? And how much will it tick cause off if I take it? It's jammed in there pretty tight. I should probably go. I bet I could pry it out. Oh, we have to make a choice now. This is a random encounter. I've never done this. We could take it or leave it. And I kind of want to take it because look at, look how mischievous she is. We could do a lot of mischief with this. I mean, it's only an ancient artifact. What is the worst that could happen? I could just get my knife under there. Mm, nothing wrong. What's... Ah! Ah! 
Who's oh no oh oh wow Christy you okay? Christy, there are you. <gasps> what happened to your face? I don't I'm not there was this gem in the statue. I guess someone forgot to put the sign that said cursed gem do not touch. Whatever happened, the Gorgons must have heard that scream. Warm up. They'll be all over us now. Oh, and all foes have temporary one hit point. And there's even more raccoons. And by the way, that gem, it's permanent. Let's, uh, hang on. Is there a... Gem eye. Ooh, the gem gives her plus six stunt chance permanently. However, that's critical hits, and I don't know if that really helps magic yet. That would really help my warrior, like, immensely. There they are. Bastards. Oh, so that's what that does. Did I ever mention I hate the raccoons? It's blinded, so that's fine. Keep blocking and dodging. And then Splinter Blast. Good. If that missed, that would have been bad. That would have been real bad. And I'm already dead. Wow. I can either be maimed or I can kill the enemy. Uh, I guess I'm going to maim myself. I stagger off. I scrounge up enough strength to survive until things quiet down. You can only be maimed once. If you if you uh if you get maimed again, you just die. Dang, that thing is so strong. Okay. Some scenery grants cover. I know, that's why I'm behind it. Ooh, but I can ignite this. Fire leash, go! How do you dodge? It's on top of you!
Uh, I should have waited for it for allies. I should have just built up defenses. Gaza? You in there? Remember how we used to wondered what we'd do if one of us fell? Lose as many limbs as you like, just don't die. Remember? I'm fe I'm feeling kind of weird about saying that now. Anyway, I'm glad we're both still here. If you need anything, let me know. Sleep well, pal. You're gonna need it. Alright, and now we have ragers added to the list of enemies that can show up. Okay, yeah, that hurt like heck. Okay, you can find an item. It's gonna take you a long time to do that. Me, my character's retreating back to Path Crow and resting. Okay, I'm back to action. I'm gonna go help that out. Recruit prepared. Okay. Ooh, sweet paladin. What's this? Once per combat, as a swift action, Sarla frightens the enemy, forcing them to spend their next turn running away. As a swift action, Sarla engages the foe, forcing it to attack her. One armor per engaged foe. That that could get you killed though. I like paladin a lot. So, oh, Paladin's good. Um, let's have everyone, like, gather up, though. And now that tile's infested, so we could get ambushed if we're in small groups. So, this whole, like, two-person team thing I got going on ain't gonna work later. Research complete. No, please, I want to stay longer. Don't make me go. Knee pad, potency. Where? Which? Wait, who's the, uh, who's the mage on my team? None of these people. Why, why the heck are these armor knee pads? These are armor that gives magic attack. Ugh. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna salvage this for heartwood. Okay, and next we're going to build up defenses. Okay, this only needs a tier one. And now the Longling, Longling Woods have been revealed. So why don't we assault the source of it? And attack. What was the guy's name we're supposed to keep an eye out for? Kaltol, I think. Kaltol. From what I know of forest folk, they normally spread themselves out over, over the landscape. Maybe they secretly can't stand each other. Who knows? These aren't exactly normal times, though. And his husband seemed concerned anyway. Of course he is. Old Kaltol seems distracted. Starts spending more and more time out in the ruins. Watching the goats, or so he says. I'd be concerned too. Is that the story? Sometimes you, you wouldn't even come home at night. The guy seems to be at loss. 
This relationship had some deep weeds in there. How do you get people to tell you these things? My trustworthy face and sensible outfit. How else? Clouds grow like lichen over the sky. They pick their way through the building bones until a, until a shout rings out close by. Come on, come on! Up on the hill, a man stands against a monument. His gaze darts between the sky. Come on! And the shadows of approaching Gorgons. Let's see, we can get around him quickly or attack while he's distracting them. Well, let's save him. Team Smashy, Smashy Hunt rushes towards the monument. Okay, let's try to take these guys out. And Kaltol's here too. I got to try to protect him. Ooh, Christy, why don't you... Okay, if I move just a little bit... This could be fun. So, burn that. Oh, that's Christy's whole turn? I don't get to... Oh, okay. That sucks. Dang, I need better weapons. I need better weapons so bad. Now, Kato, you just, uh... You just huddle up with everyone and hope you don't die. Ow, really? Those raccoons are messing us up. Yeah, that didn't work. Yeah, there we go. That's one of them dead. Now the question is, can I shoot this raccoon from here? Nope, the cover's too great. Okay, need him to not die. Good, 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 good. All right, you raccoon bastard, we got gotcha. you. No, Kyle Tull, you, you just you just stay over here. You have yourself a good life. You're not a warrior, and I don't think I am at the moment either. All right, I leveled up. Good. 
And, ooh, Sentinel interrupts enemy movement. That could be fantastic. Yeah, we're, we're definitely doing that. Ooh, bow. Yes. Oh, yes. Damage increase. Please, please, please. And we can, if we really wanted to, we could name weapons as well. The clouds begin to disperse. Kaza regards the man who is now rubbing his arms and staring at the ground. Katol. Do I know you? Your husband sends his regards. So what's the story? Watching the goats. The goats do like it here. They climb the ruins. But that's not... When the forest began to get more dangerous, I thought it might time to finally use the storm well here. This? What is it? Also, I want to point out that I just realized I have a missing hand and I might not be able to carry great swords. I have a hook. I got maimed that way. Surprised you haven't heard of it. This thing's been on the family land forever. Uncle said it was Kyorin. We had stories that it could... This is going to sound crazy, but that it could give you power. And my family are abysmal storytellers, see? Terrible imagination. So I thought, maybe they're not just stories. Maybe I could, you know, protect the goats. And my husband, John Lop. If I could get a hold of that power. It takes research. Some old family recipes and time. Lots of time to get a storm world to give up its secrets. I didn't want to tell Jenlop. Rather, he came up with a story of his own. Better than the story of a goat herd trying to wear a hat two sizes too big for him. It's a shame, though. I needed maybe one good storm. The clouds look promising today. I thought I... I could finish the process before the monsters got here. No such luck. It was silly. Now that I've seen what fighting really is, I'm not cut out for it. Glad I never told Jane Lop. Now you're going to count my goats and go home? Yeah. Unless one of you wants it. Possible. Your work shouldn't, wouldn't go to waste. The sky is clearing now, but if you want me, want to take me up on it, come back sometime. Ask for Katol. Shown up too. We'll feed you, put you up, give you otherworldly powers, forest folk hospitality, you know. I kind, I kind of want to see this. Grant someone the power of the storm well. I mean, I, I it's called a storm well. I mean, does anyone have any objections? I mean, maybe the mage could use it better, but it's called the storm well. <laughs> I want it. Okay, and everyone else will uh, secure the place. They could take their time finding an item, too. Why not? Alright, so now then. Now that we've uh, gotten this far in the game that we can choose... These are all powers that will be given to all of my enemies. And we can use legacy points to either let them keep it or destroy it. For example... I could say, like, no, I would rather not the Bogmore come this time. Bam. Bogmore will not show up this time. Things like that. And it's going to cost five legacy points for the next character we want. So, I think that's going to be fine. Our biggest threat right now in this campaign is the, uh, is the Gorgons. 
So making sure the Gorgons don't obtain power is best. Atoll and Jane Law, welcome, cousin. Stuffed him full of bristleberry pie and goat cheese while they waited for a storm to roll in. Right. This is more like it. Jane Law, get your boots. You stay. Atoll tinkered with the top of the storm well. Careful. Wonderful. Good sign. Almost there. You call us when you're ready. So what did you give up for the whole heroing? You know, like your gods or your spouses to name examples at random. Oh, sleeping in leisurely breakfast, sleeping in leisurely breakfast. Someday I'll get back to the tavern where Boro cooks the eggs the way I like them. There's another Kaza out, out there, in a different time, who maybe got some goats and a wife. Maybe sh maybe he was happy. I'll never know his story, but this one's mine. Kaza's musings are sharply interrupted. Crack! Katal! <laughs> He's just smiling. Hey! Been a long... Flower to bloom, but it's quite pretty now, isn't it? I should have asked this before, but am I going to have to fight something? Probably not. What happens now, then? Well, um, that wasn't in the stories. The ancient voices of the Tempest aren't telling you? I can either take a drink to transform my head, transform my arm, or transform my leg. I want to transform my head. Kaza draws his face close to the water. Tiny flashes within it holds his gaze. Suddenly it's obvious what he's supposed to do. Nope. Oh, that's, this might not, uh... Um, how'd it taste? A little metallic. Not great, honestly. Guys, do you see my arm? You both okay? So I'm just... I got my hand... Kinda! Yeah, let, let's... Uh... I guess I'm gonna have to continue the research. Oh wait, nope, there it is. I have a storm arm now. I can do Jump Jolt. Dealing half damage to the second. Stuns on stunt. Neat. And what's Storm? Whoops. Oh, come on. I'm trying to do... Okay. Static Shock. Incoming melee damage has a 30% chance to deal two true damage to the attacker. Oh, so I have Thorns. I also need to find out if I have, uh, if I can, like, wield a two-handed weapon again. Okay, warding plus 0. 0.8, I could use, yeah, I'll, I'll just equip that, that's fine. Hmm... Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. We need defenses. We need really, really big defenses right here. So... Here are three defenses, and we're going to have everyone but me work on it. And I know I give times to labor, but I'm going to. And I'm going to craft myself... Um... 
Nope, I cannot use a great I cannot use a great sword. I only have one hand and they they're not letting me use that. But I can at least give myself a better I yeah, I can at least give myself okay, this is a mace, not a hammer. Hmm. Let's see, a dueling sword, more stunt damage and accuracy, stunt chance. You know what? Dueling sword might be fantastic for me because um, whenever I stunt an enemy with my storm arm, I'll get, uh, I'll, they'll stun. Maybe it can creep up late. Yeah, I could I could become uh, even more lightning-y. That is a possibility. Okay, normally it's supposed to go if everyone's in motion, but I guess not. So I'm going to be busy crafting my thing. They're going to be building defense. Okay, crafted that. And now I'm going to add myself to that. All right, now that that's done, we can explore some other areas. Let's, uh, let's assault the place. <laughs> Did you see that huge moth that landed in Sarla's hair earlier today? How could I not? And you weren't gonna say anything? I love how our two horrifically scarred characters are, are just like the best friends right now. She walked around with that thing sticking out at a jaunty angle for like an hour. You think you could tell a story? I don't need my last thoughts tonight to be of dr of Draven. Well, what would you like to hear? Um. How about the Fire Queen and the Raindrop? Christ Christie described a bitter sorceress who ruled the realm with a fiery hand. One day a raindrop fell onto her plate and told her of the suffering her axe had caused. Go on, little teardrop, she laughed, and puffed a warm wind to dry it right up. But another raindrop fell on her table this time. This one, this one she shriveled with a flick of her fingernail. But still more fell. The sorcerers began shooting gouts of flame and screaming the heat from the earth, but it wasn't enough. The rain fell with one voice, rising and rising, and eventually the flame queen and all her ashery were washed away in the great torrent. A torrent of teamwork. Which was the real treasure all along. <laughs> you asked for a story, right? You got a story. Oh, sweet! Christy gained plus one potency? Oh, temporary. Temporary! Oh, that's sad. Ooh, but we got, uh, cult. We, we got little dudes this time. <gasps> fire spirit! Okay, who, who gets the fire spirit? Um, let's see. I could have a fire bow... Or fi oh, the, the bow is my most recent thing. We should have that be upgraded. So open the door. Of course. There's a lot of enemies. Caught you! Do I get to make a wish now?
All right, guys, you now need to save her because... Holy crap, that was a bad idea of me, but I just had to do it. Okay, let's see. What do I have to interfuse? Winter Blast? Barrage, that's good. Heal Fire. That could work. I think I'm going to go for that. Dang it. Yeah, dang, draw them blood and gain their health back. Fire damage, dude! I could get used to this. Can I shoot you? Nice. Oh, there's still more? Ooh, yeah, there is. Everyone's just kind of like chilling right now. You want to come to us? Yeah, that's what I thought. Aha! You get zapped. Why don't you dodge me? Let's see, can I? Yep, fire! I mean, I didn't ask for the game to give me lightning powers. I'll take it. Ooh, no one really uses... Oh, then again! Then again, you could use, uh, use that. Shield and wand. Interesting combo. Is pugilism an option for this game? I have not really seen pugilism as an option. There's no, like, weapons you can make, things like that. Like, no fisticuffs, things like that. Okay, let's have one person stay behind. And have everyone else go to this area. And now you can gather at this one. Let's see. Gleaming, weird, and golden. A strange stone outcropping captures Dahlia's eyes. You think there's something up there? Can we check? Upon the hill's summit. 
nothing's waiting for them. What we found is a pretty good picnic spot. Then it begins. A thrumming. Or thrumming, I'm not sure. It grows louder. And louder until the stone underfoot chatters and shakes. It grows louder. Until it's a mighty growl, clamorous, thundering. And then it resolves. I am the one. The voice of a carnivore cunning and crooning, warning them to run, promising to give chase. The one you have hunted so long. Through cups and coin. You have hunted so long for me and for a sisterhood that should be yours. Do you know my name? Hey. It was the gift I gave to your ancestors. They walked my myth over green field and follow. To the curves and corners of being they walked. Do you know my name? How? How would I? A blessing earned through ancient service. An oath written in steps and trails. And seated with a name. You only need to know it. I'll ask you once more. Do you know my name? Locaius! It's like reading a fairy tale from your childhood only to realize how disturbing it is. Dahlia doesn't like knowing the name, but she's sure it's right. Yes, I am Locaius, your wolf god, and now you may take my oath. Abandon your humanity, my girl, and be blessed as wolfkind. I can become wolf! Or choose not to become wolf. Do I wolf? Yes, yeah, time to become wolf. Dahlia kneels and Beneath her, a green light pools, dandelions rise yellow out of the sparse, wind-scraped dirt. They grow old and white, they throw their seeds, then wilt to nothing. The god rock she kneels upon hums. It cracks somewhere inside, a shrill, sundering howl reverberates in her skull. Feels like a thousand megalithic wasp are whining, trapped in this bone jar, Teetering on her shaky shoulders. Dahlia? <laughs> I'm sorry. It was a bit sillier than I thought it would be. Plus two to retirement age. <laughs> she, she's, she becomes wolf and is just like, I'm too old for this. So now Dolly is just wolf. And we're just going to resume building the station, by the way. Ooh, we could get hide and fabric. Two hides or two fabrics. I don't really know which one I'll need. Um, Oh, you know what? I think hides are more for... Uh, uh, armor and such, so we're gonna go with that. Dolly is still just, okay. And we'll give them a level one defense for now. You will not get your Bogmore right now, okay? If it's my choice, you don't get it. And we all started so normal on this journey. Yeah, this is already more transformations than I had my first time through. I mean, I became a crow my first time through and that was awesome.
Okay, let's see what uh, being a wolf head does. You can bite foe nearby foes with wolf jaws. Ah, uh, that's not fun. I was hoping to give me like wolf eyes or something like that. And I, I could like see better. Honestly, Starla right now is just, or Sarla is just like, what is everyone up to? Like, she's the newcomer to the team. And it's just like, man, I wanted to come with you guys on this adventure. Meanwhile, my character has Lightning Head. Uh, Christy has a Gemi. And Dahlia's just... Dahlia. <laughs> so she's just like, okay, maybe I don't want on this adventure. A little nervous. <laughs> the wolf asks. I'm wondering how I'd be remembered, you know, if I died today. How about you? Of course I'm tense. Moments before a battle, I get all squeezed up inside. I just can't wait to get my hands on these poor creatures and their misery. Come on. I'm just happy I haven't made you mad yet. Oh my, Sarla. You seem like you might be worth keeping around. <laughs> I love this face where it's just like, they gained bonus damage, wolf. <laughs> All right, spell casting. Let's see. I need to interfuse with this baby. Can I discus something? Oh, whoops, I thought that was my melee character. Darn it. Gotta make sure she uh, she's gonna be all right. Now this is becoming less good by the instant. Although... I can finally use through shot. Oh, I could also use but oh no, I can't use bite. That sucks. Oh, were you too close for through shot? Is that it? Oh, that sucks. For starters, ignite this. Next, fire leash that into the boar. Who wants pork? Next, we are going to uh, get very, 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 very close to this guy. Ow, I hate you. Um, why don't we try biting? Yay, deer meat for the wolf. This is working out fantastically. Ooh, potency one. Uh, but it will replace the shield. Although, potency... Will allow- oh wait, but that would get rid of her bow, wouldn't it? Wait, 
wouldn't it? No. Yeah, it would get rid of her bow. She'd have to switch over to her dagger. Mm, that's better, though, for a spellcaster. You get the sense that the forest grieves. Hmm? What do you get? I think the Sultan mourners. You know how the coast coastal people will forbid light in the house for a full year when a family member's died? I'd heard of that. The forest, I think, has its lights out. And I'd like to see it lit again. Hear the birds laugh and catch the blurred blurs of little scampering things. And yeah, they just had to put the bog more in here. Uh, it's been added to the deck and I couldn't get rid of it. And I'm going to have to secure the place. Of course I'm going to have to go with Dolly and her face when she's, when she's like that. Yay! Okay, but that's... I think that's going to be it. Unfortunately, we've run out of time for... Uh, right? Like... If I want to get an hour and a half of the next game, we're going to have to uh, stop here. So, yeah, and that's where that's where uh, Wilder Myth will end today. But yeah, if you guys want me to continue playing this one sometime, let me know. Otherwise, I have to say this: it is multiplayer. You can play this with uh, multiple friends at the same time, doing your own thing. I'm not. I'm not sure how ultimately that will work out, but yeah, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with this. It's random generation. It's it has a lot of fun to it so far. And by the way, something that I have not mentioned about this game is after you complete a campaign, depending on the events that happened in the prior campaign, uh, you're offspring will actually participate in future campaigns maybe your old characters will come into them and you just form this grand tale that just keeps on going and going and going uh and yes yeah, sometimes and even your foes can get more powerful as the games go on as well i i need to i have not played a second campaign but you can make like leg legacy characters that continue being mentioned in for in future campaigns so if you're interested in that let me know and we'll see if we can come up with another stream of this sometime maybe until then we're going to switch over to the next game bay tactics so i will see you guys there if you're watching this on youtube have a, have a wonderful day but those in the stream right now just hang on tight we're going to switch over